No, really, you can go home. He's the director of the Omaha Symphony Orchestra, the first African-American conductor ever in the history of the Boston Symphony, and a guest conductor for orchestras across America. But his greatest passion is introducing young people to classical music. How fast the echoes were good. The echoes! Awesome! Yeah. It all began for maestro Thomas Wilkins in a housing project in Norfolk, Virginia. There was always music in our home. Um, there was always music being played on the stereo, those, you know, ginormous cabinets that, you know, had, had, a, had an LP thing in it. And uh, so, um, but there was no classical music. Um, my mother was a, was a church organist uh, for a period of time, but, but in one of those little tiny storefront churches, you know, in, in the hood. And um, so I heard a lot of gospel music growing up. Um, um, there were groups called like, the Mighty Clouds of Joy, where was, was, was one of them, in fact, I remember. Um, a lot of gospel music, a lot of uh, R&B growing up, you know, a lot of soul music. Uh, and it wasn't until really third grade, when the, and on, on the day that I discovered I wanted to be a conductor, that I actually heard anything. Uh, that was classical music, and certainly that was the first time I had heard an orchestra. It was a place called the Arena Theater in Norfolk. I didn't know what was going on in that building. Uh, so it was a short bus ride from my elementary school over to the Arena Theater. Um, and, you know, there was this orchestra on the floor, because all the kids were sort of up and around, and so I'm looking down on the orchestra, and I see all of these people with all of these musical instruments, and they're warming up, you know, so I hear all of these sounds for the first time. And then, sure enough, this man comes out. I mean, he had long blonde hair, you know, and he started to play the snare drum. And, and the orchestra stood up, and they played the Star Spangled Banner, which I had heard before, but never in the voice of an orchestra. And from that moment on, I am totally locked into what's going on on stage. And for the most part, I'm locked into what this man was doing who was waving his arms. And I thought, this is what I want to do. I mean, these sounds had captured me right away, and um, I loved his proximity and his seemingly um, involvement uh, with the sounds that I was hearing, and I thought, that I think I want to be a conductor when I grow up. And so later, as a grown-up, I could finally put words to what that experience was. It was really this music was calling me by name, and I had no explanation for it.